Lord, Take My Hand and Lead Me, arranged by Judy Phillips, for three, four, five, or six octaves handbells, level two. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Daily Prayer for Individuals and Families from Lutheran Service Book, page 295, from Faith Lutheran Church, Columbus, Indiana. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. The second reading is from Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. 
In love he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Our devotional reading for today is from Portals of Prayer for Tuesday, August 25th. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight. My grace is sufficient for you. In a post-game interview after a big win, the winning quarterback attributed the outcome to the grace of God, at which I perversely thought, what about the other team? Doesn't God love them too? I had accidentally put my finger on our problem with grace. We measure it with a very worldly yardstick. Our reading today helps right our wrong thinking. First, Paul gives a lengthy list of all the awesome spiritual blessings lavished on us in Christ not in ourselves. It's grace. Then Paul says Jesus heaps his grace upon us in all wisdom and insight. This is grace through the eyes of God, not the world. There's something deeper to grace than what we can merely see. Paul himself might have thought God was withholding grace because he wasn't removing his thorn, 2 Corinthians 12. But Jesus told him there was a higher, better purpose to having the thorn. In 2010, quarterback Colt McCoy got injured in the first half of the national championship game, and his team lost. In an emotional interview afterward, he still gave glory to God, not questioning his grace or favor. This young man was lavished in grace, and so are we. Lord, thank you for your gracious grace, glorious grace for us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, On this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And then go joyfully to your work this day. We'll be streaming again for daily prayer tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.